Well, another day, another shirt. So digital forensics essentials. So once again, this is one I passed back in June, sorry. Uh, it's been busy, I've been traveling. Um, I should mention, EC Council does not yet integrate with Credibly. I like Credibly, they're all there, they automatically show up. So you have to manually add these to LinkedIn if you're gonna put them there. Um, I will uh, link down below as well the place where you can verify. You have to put in the candidate name and the certificate number in order to verify things um, and it shows if it's active or not. So anyway, once again, uh, oh, I need to show, Let's see, EC Council Digital Forensics Essentials. So I uh, wanted to get this up for you as well. Um, so here... Oh, this is, looks like, uh, so this is better information than I had for the last one. So this tells you a little bit about the uh, exam. Duration, two hours, question 75, only need a set passing score is 70%. Um, and it should have what's on the exam is, anyway, this is where probably better to get the EC Council um, digital forensics essential. See if we can get the course information because that will have. Um, so this will have at least down here the course outline. So um, I'll go ahead and share these. I found a little more than the last one. Happy day. Um, anyway, hope you enjoy and good luck. Uh, once again for EC Council, uh, I, I did take four exams. This is number two I'm listing. Um, all I did to prepare for these was the practice uh, stuff through EC Council, uh, and it was good. Uh, I, I liked it. It's kind of pricey, um, but it was good. Um, anyway, hope you enjoy.